Hey gang, Jason here for With the Love of Tractors. I thought I'd do something a little different this, well, today, and then later this week. I hope I have something really cool for you guys uh, that I'm super excited about. I'll tell you about it later. Um, anyway, so this is a 6388 International 2 Plus 2 Snoopy, if you will. Um, Anteater, I think, uh, is another is another term for these. One of my all-time favorite tractors. I mean, these things are so cool looking, aren't they? I mean, I think so. Um, I've always wanted to do one of these up, like super high detail, and I think someday I will. Like, And when I say super high detail, I mean like, I want to cut the hood off, put an engine in there, make that hood slide, all that fun stuff, because I think there's so much potential here. Um, but, you know, this. so this is the second, uh, let's call it second uh, generation of Ertl 2 Plus 2. They brought out one, you know, back when these tractors were basically new, and they weren't quite to scale. Uh, they had the crappy old Ertl wheels on it and all that, and so when these were re-announced or reintroduced, oh gosh, quite a while ago now, I don't know if I can find a date on here or not, uh, let's see, 243901, um, that have been 09, maybe? I bet that was 09. Um, wow. Yeah, time flies when you're having fun. Ten years ago, I guess. Um, but, they, I mean, these created a huge buzz in the farm toy world because there was such a demand for them, and the originals were fetching a pretty, pretty pricey price. Pricey price? Pretty, pretty hefty price, uh, at the time. And, of course, uh, when these came out, it sort of killed that market for the originals, but uh, that's okay. I would rather people who want the tractor be able to get the tractor than uh, it be worth a ton of money on some collector's shelf. You know, that's that's my opinion. Well, you don't know how dusty your collection is until you do it on a video. <laughs> but anyway, let's just take a quick look at this puppy. So it doesn't articulate worth a darn. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. That's it. That's pretty much it. That's So that's one of the things I definitely would like to fix on this tractor. And while we're looking at the front, so everything here is just a decal. So that's something else I feel like I could do all sorts of fixing on. We could put a real grill in there and all that sort of thing. I think that'd be fun. Um, you know, better lights and things of that nature. Sliding around. So these, these wheels and tires, they were all right for 2009 standards. They were fine. Uh, they do, you know, they're plasticky. And, but, you know, that's what we expect from Ertl of this era, or, you know, Ertl today, actually. Um, you know, but no complaints. Uh, they're at least uh, reasonably correct, I think, so, which is pretty cool. And then uh, you can see the decal's nice, but you can, as you can see, uh, you know, it wears pretty easy. Now, this wasn't played with, and I'm really not sure why the heck it's got this nick up here and one here. So I suspect the paint is pretty, um, pretty meh not great because of those nicks because honestly this is set on a shelf it's not really been played with so uh, I assume that maybe was from moving I don't know anyway um, you know we got the door latch decal over here on the side of course the black stripe extends all the way around and then up and over the hood with the silver accent there looks great I think that's really neat now the interior Gotta give some Gert Ertl some credit here. We get, at least get a two-tone. It's not just all black. We got kind of a tan and black going on there. You can see some little detail on the console and things like that. So that's super nice. Now, of course, it's just a flat disc steering wheel, but you know, that's just what we get anymore. So whatever. Uh, SMB decals a little crooked, but that's easily fixed. So we only get decals for the lights back here, which is, you know, okay. But now this was kind of the era. Where I, I feel like Ertl like stepped up the detail in the rear end. Now it's obviously nothing great back here. We still just get their flat tab hitch, but you can see some PTO detail. What maybe could be some hydraulic outlets up here and things like that. So it's certainly better than what we got in the past. So no complaints there, huh? Nice, uh, nice flashers back here though, and we do get a nice uh, little tiny IH decal right there. So that's cool. Anyway, I guess my big gripes are it doesn't articulate worth a darn, and apparently the paint is is bleh on these but with that said it's a neat model just to put on your shelf or your display the way it is i don't think you have to detail it to get anything out of it to be honest with you it's very cool and uh so much potential here for detail i feel like so uh someday someday i, I it won't be this winter my my i think my winter's full already unfortunately but uh 
someday this is going to be we're, we're going to turn this into something these are all over the place still not hard to get at all uh you can go to a show and find these you know in the like i'll, I'll call it five to twelve dollar range just depending on how hard you look and who you're looking at and if you know the guy and they're willing to give you a deal um at least out of the box now i don't know in the box these might be worth some money these days and they probably are actually but uh i've seen them out of the box for reasonable reasonable prices so all right well, that's gonna do it for this one guys as always thank you for watching i always appreciate it please do the like share subscribe thing if you can and uh you know pass the word here on for the love of tractors big big things coming this winter and so i'm trying to kind of hype it up because uh, we're going to be working on the new display, going to be doing a bunch of custom how-to videos, all that sort of thing. So I'm super excited about that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a great night. Treat each other well. Happy tractor hunting.